hey guys welcome back to the channel so this is a quick review of a staple gun and this is from a brand name miles and the model number is ts13h so before jumping to a full review let's have a quick look onto the tool itself So the tool comes up in a cardboard packaging so over the box there are some key features written over that and along with that there are two different sizes of pin supported by this gun so here ts13 is actually the depth of the magazine and this magazine particularly supports pins up to 13 millimeter in this video i am using three different sizes of pins 8 10 and 13 millimeters and all of these sizes works very well with this particular model inside the box there is a tool and a user guide and onto that user guide there is a exploded view of the tool has been provided and uh, on to the right side there is a part description also provided and i think if you want any spare part for this item that is also available each part of the tool have a specific code name so that you can easily able to get that spare part if something wrong happened to the tool so as the packaging described the tool have all metal body construction and uh, onto the holding area there is a rubberized grip also provided and to lock down the handle to its place there is a small latch given over the handle area and every time when this handle reaches to the top it makes a clicky sound and uh, this will engage the hammer and over the handle area there is a metallic sheath has been provided which actually prevents the pinching of the skin during the releasing action this accident happened many times in my previous staple gun so that's why i decided to go with this particular model the use of the tool is pretty simple so onto the back side there is a metallic strip over which the press has been written you just need to press it down and pull it outward the pusher is going to come out and underneath that you can see the magazine area in which you have to load the pins the pins have to be inserted in such a way that the wider part of the pin touching the base of the magazine So now I'm going to show you how this gun actually works onto the actual material. I'm going to use it over MDF which is slightly softer material and also I have a leftover piece of African winch wood which is one of the hardest wood found on planet earth. One thing which I don't like about this tool is that every time you have to put your second hand over the top of the hammer area and i guess the recoil of that hammer actually lifts the gun and because of that the pin left tiny bit outside and uh, that is definitely not a good thing and uh, second thing is that they did not provide any screw adjuster to adjust the power of the stroke and uh, in my previous model which is from silver line that have a power adjustment screw provided and i think that would be a good feature if they will provide in this tool and i think if you are a diy kind of a person and someday you wanted to do the upholstery work then you can easily do with this kind of a tool <music> Sometimes if I have to hold my job onto the CNC then I use this tool a lot and here you can see little bit about that process. Yeah that's pretty much all about this tool and, uh, and I hope you like this review and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Till then goodbye have a great day.